Today on Gearbox, I'm joined by Simon Koenig. Simon, today we're looking at the PSM 300 series from Shaw. That we are. Okay, two different, I guess, kit options. There's some different hardware choices within the range. We've got a couple of different belt packs, P3R, P3RA, mm -hmm. basically MI Pro. That's sort of my distinction on them. We'll talk about them a bit more in a minute. Um, and they're packaged with uh, SE112 and SE215 headsets in either a nice retail looking box or a very plain white, austere, sincere, professional grade box. Mm -hmm. Same transmitter, what are our differences? Basically, like you said, the transmitter's exactly the same. Our main difference is in the receiver belt pack itself. With our entry level model, we've got a, uh, a plastic casing, we've got fixed antenna, and it really does have its controls paired back to somebody that might not be experienced with using in-ear monitor systems. It's got a very obvious volume Just control. Just one knob on the top. A blend control on the side and then everything else is probably going to be set up by your sound guy. The functionality is there, but it's not direct for the user to have a play with. It's, uh, it's, it's for... easy to operate. That's right, it's singer safe. I like that. <laughs> okay, the P3RA is obviously our slightly more familiar looking, um, I'm going to call it the Pro Grade pack. Mm -hmm. It looks exactly like PSM 900, except that the antenna is fixed. Uh, we've got the LCD menu, we've got obviously our menu choices in here. I've got a pair of energizers in here, but you can take those out and use a SB900 rechargeable battery, which is the same battery as on the PSM900, PSM1000, ULXD, and you can even drop it in the same charging cradle. Yeah, so I mean for, for higher departments and for venues, it makes it so much easier. You can have your bank of chargers set up somewhere, just drop the transmitters or receivers straight in and know that everything's ready to go when you need it. Now, did we talk about earbuds? Because this one comes with a SE112 and this e comes with the SE215s. Again, it's probably who it's based at. So with the more entry level system, um, they've picked from their range the earbuds that are appropriate for that type of user and is going to notice the difference. And then for the higher grade systems, they've gone for the higher spec, higher end earbuds, which that user is probably going to appreciate. I agree, the choices make sense there. Now talking of the, the setup and the synchronization, uh, these units both have IR sync. And the interesting thing about that is it works bi-directionally depending on whether or not you've just done a channel scan on the pack, which you can do on both of these packs. Excellent. So basically all you do is with your receiver module, you press it into scan mode, it hunts through the frequency bank that it sits in, finds the appropriate frequencies, you press the sync button on the front of the transmitter, hold the receiver in place and they communicate and do their sync. And they say good. Good, and the little LED screen flashes. Now, We've seen all that many times before, but the great thing with this system is if you've got multiple receivers, you can then actually hit the sync button, place a new receiver in front and it will transmit the data back to the receiver. The receiver's in listen mode unless it's just done a scan and then it's in its transmit frequency mode. So it's bi-directional sync, which is very clever. Uh, and of course you do have the option to manually choose your group and channels as well. Yep. Um, audio quality, I like this. To me, this is, it's pretty transparent. Stereo separation seems good. Uh, and I think for, you know, what I reckon is probably gonna take the place of PSM 200, cause that's getting, Getting on a bit in years now. Um, you know, it was good when it came out, but this is a lot newer. Uh, what are the benefits we've got from that, that generational advancement? So basically, we're still talking analog communications of the audio from transmitter to receiver, but we're now benefiting from digital audio processing within the transmitter and also digital audio processing within the receiver. So they can use the analog bandwidth much more efficiently and they can get a much better sound quality and the transparency that you are referring to. So these are the specs that we've seen on much higher end units and it's now coming down the range so that the entry level units really do have sensational audio quality. Mm. Now a typical problem on entry level in the past has been, uh, I've always found the most common problem has been not enough level. Not for me, but for the people I hand them to <laughs> who've already had too much level. It's not loud enough. Is it loud enough? It is, it's definitely a step up from the old PSM 200s. I mean, these were possibly got almost a dangerous level of sound if you're going to they use it. They have a warning it. on the back. There you go. Lawyers love everything these days. Um, but no, I mean, these have definitely got a lot more dynamic range, a lot more punch to them. So to be able to get the vocals to cut over a loud band on stage, um, they probably do have the grunt. Now, as well as obviously having level as a way of doing that, we've also got another thing now called mix mode, which is pretty cool. 
Yeah, so basically mix mode allows you to take two mono inputs into the transmitter, they're sent along, and then you can, with the receiver, convert it back into a mono mode and then set your blend between the two inputs. So, so, so I want more tracks or more me? So I can kind of guess which way a lot of people will want it. But um, it basically means for really simple setup, singer with a backing track, single guitarist and a vocalist, you don't need an org sends on your console, you don't need a monitor guy or anything like take that. Take a couple of direct outs, a couple of jack leads. And uh, you can change it as the scenario changes on stage. Talking of simple, I do like that this um, the, the P3R doesn't have a lot in the, in the way of controls. And, and when you pull this out of the box, right, you plug it in, you think, how, how does it work? You know, okay, I'll plug the antenna on, I'll put the power in, I'll hold this up, I'll press sync, it might work, and it just works. It does. Like it, uh, it, you can guess it in, and uh, I, I think that's an admirable quality. I think also, I like very much that the rack mounting hardware is included. You can mount them either singly or paired yep. in a one rack unit space. You can use them with antenna combiners. I think that they've come up with quite a good thing here. They have thought about it. It's uh, a ready to go out of the box. Not only do you not need to know a lot of the high-end technical how to set it up, like you are saying, it's easy to sync, it's easy to use, it's very intuitive, and you've got everything you need to put it in a rack and put it out ready for the first gig in the box when you go. So Simon, look, I think it's fair to say that two different packaging choices, two different belt pack choices, they're really going for two different market sectors here. Are they going to do it? That's right. I mean, with the lower entry system using the P3R, it's ready for on the shelf of your local music store. It's ready for the guy with the guitar, the small band, the people just getting into the industry. The system is packaged ready for them. Everything you it need. It even shows you how to stand on stage. I mean, fantastic. You need a bit of a haze machine in the background. So I have to get that on the rider. Well, it's the, the, the P3RA version, the more sincere white packaging. I think this is going to find its way into rental houses because that same rechargeable battery factor, I think that's going to save people money. Yep. And um, I, I think that this, this feels good. It feels like a professional product. And... Um, it really is. Yeah. You know? It's a professional product at a, at a new price, for sure. And easily expandable as well. If you're in the rental houses, you're doing the larger count of systems, you can go up to 15 transmitter channels within one frequency bank. Sure, are offering this system in Australia in multiple frequency banks, so if you need more than 15, you've got the ability to add another frequency bank outside. And like you were saying, all the rack mount hardware is included in the box, ready to go. We can use antenna combiners for larger systems to make the setup more efficient and the transportation easier. Mm, certainly some good options there. Mm. So that's the new PSM 300. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. Don't forget to share it around to your friends. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Bye.